Unlike Rush Limbaugh, I will not meet and exceed all audiences' expectations on a daily basis. But I want to interject my thoughts regarding the Olympics. I wasn't bummed out that the U.S. women's soccer team lost. When I watch a soccer team disrespect the nation as they did, as they knelt instead of standing at allegiance, it's like, who cares if they win? And I feel like a team like that now seems to be more about political correctness than simply playing the sport. But that's what happens when leftism enters sports. You're watching leftist politics begin to dominate not only professional sports, but Olympic sports. When you allow a biological male to compete with women in weightlifting, the Olympics have turned to political correctness and leftism. I wish I could say it's only entering into sports. You know, the other day, I was called racist on Facebook. I put a comment about Robert E. Lee. Somebody made the statement that as his statue was taken down, it would be good for us to remember him on Facebook. And they had a picture of him riding horseback on his horse traveler. And I said, Robert E. Lee was a was an individual of stellar character uh, and uh, made some other positive comments about him. Oh, that led to me being blocked by a former high school teammate who, by the way, is a law professor and a proponent of critical race theory. That led another person to call me a racist. Not only a racist, but a blind racist, who also called my brother a racist. And though he said, you don't use the N-word, still it shows that you love the idol of whiteness. Uh, this came from a pastor of a conservative denomination within my own denomination. That's what we're dealing with when leftism not only enters sports, but the church as well. We better have a discerning mind in these day and times because we're letting philosophies of the world dominate our thinking. And when it gets into our theology, that's when the church is going to severely stumble. Well, unlike Tony Kornheiser of Pardon the Interruption, I cannot promise you that I'll do better the next time.